Welcome back to our concluding moments now on this uh, approval for funds to procure security equipment. You uh, were talking about the question of amnesty. What's with it? And you see, when we bastardize a lot of things, amnesty will go for somebody who has been convicted, mind you. It's when I convict you of a crime, then I'll grant you amnesty. If we have seen these issues of insurgency or whatever you call it, Britain would have been a model for us. I agree under Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher said, I will never do what? Negotiate with criminals. Let heaven fall. If we go to Nicaragua, you will still see a sign of that. So the basic issue is here. We started this thing from Niger Delta. You are granting amnesty to somebody who has not been convicted of any offense, and now you take him overseas for whatever training or whatever he's doing. You come back now to Boko Haram. Amnesty, you grant them, they will return these and exchange arms. It shows we are not serious, and it will reoccur because you are more or less emboldened in what? A criminal who will tomorrow have more stake in what he's doing if he sees the money. Like what we are moving into gradually that go now and kidnap or abduct school girls and then come for negotiation or ransom. So these are the basic areas, like I said, have you had an articulate, have it been we have an articulate and proactive program over these issues? We wouldn't go into these uh, mistaken interventions, misguided interventions and mistaken pre prescriptions because the articulate policy of government is neither transparent nor proactive towards this issue and it has been our bend so far. And it is most unfortunate that at this part of our lives, we are contending with issues that has not even been bordered on what? On progressive governance of the 21st century. We are talking of health men. We are talking of issues of kidnapping. While the world has reached so far that we see CCTV and the rest of them, you take these issues the way they are. And the institutions, every institution is underfunded. There is no research or reliable and convincing data and cost benefit for whatever we are doing. Now the prices of even the just a, a, a sovereign country will do what? We procure. Is that issue because we know that nobody is what transparent and nobody is even saying the truth. So since we have come to this level of questioning even the integrity of the state, because we are the issue is Nigerian state as at the moment cannot take care of itself because the state itself is what? It's come at us. That is just to say the truth. Take care of yourself for what paying our debt we can. We, we existed from this debt, from Paris Club, how many years ago? Have you seen what it has ballooned up to? Mm. Can you talk now, call the programs or infrastructures that brought us to where we are today? All right, let me... That we are committing almost 40% of our, our annual earning to servicing mm. of debt. Well, Mr. Jaffa, I mean, when they argue in security quarters that, look, this amnesty is intended to ensure that peace returns, uh, it will put an end, or at least, if not to a barest minimum, but the intention is it will put an end to this insurgency. Is that tenable to you? Well, uh, honestly speaking, I have problem with this issue of amnesty to Boko Haram. Because you must establish the people you are granting amnesty. We have two factions of Boko Haram. Which one is the government negotiating? Which one are they going to grant amnesty? Shekhar, for instance, is not ready for negotiations. Now, how do we know which of the Shekhar is this? Because, I mean, I remember the first but, but person said... We know said, that he has a faction. He has a whichever control. Whichever person leads anyone can be designated as a Shekhar. So exactly. They go for but them. he has a faction. He has a, a group that is controlling. So before amnesty is given, people... I mean, it's like uh, prescribing a drug for a madman. Do you know whether the madman is going to take the drug? It becomes a problem to even administer the drug to the madman. So I think an agreement, a negotiated agreement should have been reached before government uh, came out with uh, this issue of amnesty. I don't see it working anyway, but if it works, it's good for all of, uh, all of us because we all want peace. And peace we all intend to get. So well, let's anchor at that point then. We've got, we had uh, Mr. Mike Ejof, a former director with the SSS, and uh, Mr. Manon Nygman, a legal practitioner. Gentlemen, thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. Well, let's hand to Lagos. Uh, Gimba is on standby. He's going to be talking about sports. It was, what a matchup it was uh, yesterday and the day before. Let's hear them speak on it.